Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel NCRT Maths with Bardeep. Today we are continuing our exercise number 2.3 of chapter 2 that is polynomials of grade 10. Fourth question is on dividing x cube minus 3x square plus x plus 2 by a polynomial gx means divisor is not given. The quotient and remainder were these find gx. Okay, so this is again explained in the introduction video that what is division algorithm? We know that dividend, suppose Px is our given polynomial. Let us write this as, okay, gx is the divisor that we need to find. What is quotient? Let it be q. This is given as x minus 2. And remainder is given as minus 2x plus 4. I hope the terminology related with division is clear to you. That is, if we do this, this inside number that is to be divided is always dividend. This is divisor with which we will divide. And here whatever comes is quotient and final last number left whether it is 0 or anything is called remainder. So according to division algorithm dividend is always equal to the product of divisor and quotient then whatever answer we are getting we should add remainder that is divisor into quotient plus remainder will always give us dividend. So we will write it here also using division algorithm dividend. So dividend is our Px in this case. Px is always equal to the product of divisor with quotient. So this is Gx multiplied by quotient plus remainder. Okay. So now see we need to find Gx that means we can shift this remainder to other side first. So Px this is plus here so in this side it will be minus remainder is equal to Gx into Qx. Okay so now we need to find Gx so we will shift this Qx to the denominator of the left hand side. So we will say and I am switching the terms also. So gx is equal to this will come here that is px minus rx over qx. So now let's substitute the values. px is x cube minus 3x square plus x plus 2 minus remainder. So remainder is minus of 2x plus 4. So we will write minus. Please be careful with the signs because otherwise you will get wrong answer. So qx is x minus 2. Let's open this. This is x cube minus 3x square plus x plus 2. This minus and minus is plus 2x minus and plus is minus 4 over x minus 2. Now let's combine like terms. So this is x, this is 2x, this will give me 3x. So 3x plus 2 minus 4 is minus 2 over x minus 2. So this means that gx is equal to when you divide this polynomial with this polynomial. So now let's divide them. So now x cube minus 3x square plus 3x minus 2 and this is x minus 2. So now first step is x cube over x. So x cube over x will give me x square. So this is my first term and x square should be multiplied with x minus 2 so I will get x cube minus 2x square so let's write it here x cube minus 2x square 
change the signs this will be cancelled minus 3 plus 2 is minus x square okay because minus 3 plus 2 is minus 1 plus 3x minus 2 okay so now minus x square should be divided with x so this will be minus x it will come here minus x so minus x should be multiplied with x minus 2 so we will get minus x square plus 2x so we will write it here minus x square plus 2x change the signs these are cancelled so 3 minus 2 is 1 so plus x minus 2 so again this x and this x has same power so again we should divide x by x we are getting 1 so 1 is here and this 1 multiplied by x minus 2 will give me the same terms change the signs cancel them and remainder is 0 so now whatever is our quotient that is the answer of this division and that answer is equivalent to gx so we can say therefore gx is equal to this quotient that is x square minus x plus 1. So what we have done is, I'll repeat, we have used division algorithm that is dividend is always equal to the product of divisor with quotient and we will add remainder to that product. So that answer should be equal to your dividend. After using this, we have shuffled whatever is required and find the value of gx by substituting the values in the expression and then we get to know which is our dividend and which is our divisor. So we have divided that whatever is given to us and the quotient of this division is our final answer. So I hope this type of question is also clear to you. So this is our fourth question. So I hope question number four is clear to you. This is all about this video. See you in my next video with the remaining questions of this exercise. Thank you.